everyone and today is June 26th which means we're at the end of June so you all know what that means. Yes, this is my June favourites video. I don't have that many favourites this month and they're not all really focused around beauty, they're kind of just like general favourites. Yeah, yeah, that's the word. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to jump right on into it. Okay, I will start out with kind of the beauty favourites this month. Uh, my first one is the Big Sea, sea, sea Salt Shampoo from Lush. And ooh, it is all gone. I wish I had some so I could show you what it's like. Um, but this is amazing. It says, have a big hair day. This is like having your hair lifted on a sea breeze. And it literally is. It gives you so, so much volume in your hair. I don't use this every wash. Um, I probably use it like every other wash. Um, and I didn't, I tried using it every wash and I didn't really like it. I felt like it worked better used every other wash. Like maybe like twice a week or something. So yes, um, I'll definitely be, repur be repurchasing this. And it's about £12, I believe, for this pot. But I could be wrong. Um, so yeah, we'll be repurchasing that. Um, my next is kind of a combination of products. Um, with it being so hot, I've not wanted to wear like as much makeup. So I've kind of just been grabbing a mascara and a concealer, putting them on, and then going maybe to, like, to college or something. And my concealer is the Boing Concealer by Benefit. Um, which is actually out of one of their sets, the Color, I think it's just the colours 01 and 02. So I use like maybe the lighter colour um, on my chin and just spots and discoloration. Um, and then I kind of use the dark one under my eyes where I need more coverage and to co cover like these uh, purple bags. And I think this works really, really well. Um, and I like using that with my Bag Girl Lash mascara by benefit Woo! dropped it i think this is beautiful it just gives such great length it doesn't clump it make it just instantly makes your eyes look brighter and more defined so i love it i don't know how much this was because it was a gift so if you're looking for a good mascara definitely this one i found like a lot of the time with my mascaras if i go out they just come off really easily like the uh i think it's the volumize lash extension one um my max factor i think i have um i tend to find that comes off after a couple of hours but this stays on all day just all day we my last kind of beauty related favorite it's not really beauty but it's my favorite perfume which is the lady million perfume uh, and you can tell i've been loving this by how little is left weird thing when I get perfumes I get new perfumes I don't really use them um if I like them I don't use them I, I only use them on special occasions just because I love them so much and I don't want to use them all like my Juicy Couture one I've had for about a year and I've still got about half of it left I got this for my birthday off my boyfriend and um, that's in December um and it's mainly been this month I've just been picking it up and putting it on every day because I started to realize what is the point in them spending all this money on a perfume for me to not wear it um, and I love it, it smells great. I I can't even describe what it smells like. I'm, I'm pretty sure most people have smelt this perfume anyway, but I think it smells very mature and sophisticated and I love it. Ooh. The next thing is a shoes. <laughs> um, is a shoes, is a pair of shoes and it is these um, from New Look. Oops. Um, Ross bought me these at the start of the month and while I haven't had that much of an excuse to wear them, like I think I've probably worn them about four or five times, it's normally, normally if I go out I struggle to find a pair, like I struggle to find a pair of shoes that I want to wear but every time I'm going out I'm like no it's these, these are the shoes to wear and I think they're just, oh, they're so pretty and because they've got quite a thick heel, like they've got quite a thick heel they're um they're easier to walk in because I have some uh, stilettos and I just can't walk in them very well. And these were twenty nine ninety nine. So they are a, they're not expensive for shoes, but you know you can you can get cheaper pairs of heels. But I think they're really comfy and really easy to walk in. Da -da -da. 
Okay, now on to my non-beauty slash fashion favourites of the month. It's my favourite CD, and that is the Ed Sheeran Multiply Deluxe Edition. I could say this is a monthly favourite. It only came out on the 23rd of... Oops. It only came out on the 23rd of June, so I've only had it, like, three days, but it's, it's instantly become my favourite, favourite album of the month. And he has been releasing songs on it, off it, throughout the month. So I have been listening to parts of it. Um, so technically, I've been listening to this, ooh, listening to this all month. But I feel like this is going to be my favourite for months and months to come. Because those of you that know me, I am obsessed with Ed Sheeran. Just completely obsessed. Um, yeah, and I absolutely love it. And I've been listening to it all day. It's actually hurting me filming this video right now and not being able to listen to it. Oh. And the final favourite I have for you this month is a book and a film actually um, and the book is The Fault in Our Stars um, it's quite difficult for me to choose a monthly favourite for a, a book because it, to me a monthly favourite is something you've been using consistently all month and for me, for me books I read in a matter of days um, and I've read quite a few books this month like I've read a, um, but this one is the one I'm reading at the minute it's The Fault in Our Stars and it is fantastic. I absolutely love it. I actually, I am a big believer in the book is better than the film. But I watched the film before reading the book. And I actually feel like the film is a bit better. I feel like you can connect to the characters better in the film. But I still absolutely love the book. It's a bit difficult. For me, I find it a bit difficult to get into. I felt it was a bit weirdly written. But once you're into it, my god, it is incredible so yes my favorite book of the month is the fault in our stars as is my favorite film of the month i went to if you haven't been to see it go and watch it i went to watch it with my boyfriend and we both just cried it was just it was beautiful so yes my phone i swear to christ it keeps going off anyway um, so that is it for my June favourites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share, everything. Come join me in the land of Laura. I will leave my links to my Twitter and my Instagram below. So you can come and say hello on there. Um, and I shall see you all in my next video. Bye!